Hey everybody, it's me, Bob Harris, Senior Editor, FootballDieHards.com. Time for your Week 13 Injury Review, Preview, Update, Overview, the thing we like to do every Saturday to get you up to speed on all the things you need to know before you set your lineups on Sunday. Uh, hope you fared well in the Thursday night game. Hmm, that wasn't a great game, was it? But there were moments. And there were some assets that were paying off. Get your Panthers, Browns, Packers, and Titans out of your lineups. Those teams are on by Carolina, Cleveland, Green Bay, and Tennessee all uh, sitting out this week. And then we have injury issues. Again, things are going to change. I'm recording this at about 1.30 Eastern time. So, you know, kind of use that as your gauge. And check the late-breaking update section of the site. That's where the changes will easily be reflected in the headlines. Check if there's a team that I mentioned you're interested in. Or better still, go to the FSP staff rankings, the staff cheat sheet. You'll find links to each article or any information, new information relevant to the player you're interested in. So just find your player on the rankings. Also, if that player is way down low in the rankings somewhere he doesn't belong, you have a pretty good idea. And there are a number of players out this week and that we'll have to work our way around and navigate past. So as always, I will go. And by the way, Casey Joyner's injury uh, uh, report slash sit start uh, goes a little more in depth. It'll give you like offensive line and defensive injuries that might be might have an impact on the players you're interested in. So Check that out as well. Uh, and he'll do a Sunday morning update. So lots of new information all the way right up through each round of kickoff. So let's start with the early afternoon window where Kyler Murray and DeAndre Hopkins both listed as questionable. Ankle and hamstring injuries respectively. They both missed the last three games. Uh, they're both listed as questionable, but it seems like maybe Hopkins is slightly more questionable, right? Um, you know, Cliff Kingsbury kind of suggested we'll be really smart about him. That seems to be the one that might have an issue. Both of them are expected. The early reports, the NFL Network began reporting Friday. They expect both to play. So uh, we'll see. That'll be an early window kickoff. So you'll have some information there and be able to work away from it. Uh, Colt McCoy will start if Murray doesn't. Uh, and uh, the usual assortment of characters uh, in Arizona, A.J. Green, Christian Kirk, Antoine Wesley, uh, and Rondale Moore will have to pick up the pace and as they have and McCoy is two and one with with uh, Murray out on the other side of the ball Justin Fields listed as doubtful Andy Dalton's been announced as a starter uh, Nick Foles will back him up uh, Allen Robinson listed as doubtful looks like he'll miss a third straight game with his hamstring injury Marquise Goodwin also ruled out that means Demir Bird moves up in the rotation maybe Joaquin Grant Sr. as well alongside Darnell Mooney uh, I have a little piece up on the site about Darnell Mooney uh, if you check out the DFS three and out You'll see this is maybe not the best matchup for him, but man, the volume's been there and the big plays have been there. He's coming off 120 yard plus in consecutive games. That's pretty good. Uh, for the Minnesota Vikings at Detroit, there is no Dalvin Cook. He's expected to miss the, this week and maybe the next. The same with DeAndre Swift on the other side of the ball. A two-week absence lightly. Uh, for Minnesota, Alexander Madison is the plug-and-play option there. He comes in and gets the volume. Uh, they will maybe rely on others a little bit as well, but expect expect Madison to get the get the bulk of the workload, and he's been pretty successful in this role in the past. Swift, Jamal Williams will get his role. Dan Campbell's been very conservative in his play calling, so expect that to continue, run heavy, and uh, Williams will be a big part of that. Uh, for the Houston uh, Texans taking on the Indianapolis Colts in Houston, uh, David Johnson, Brandon Cooks, Chris Conley, all listed as questionable. They're dealing with illnesses. David Johnson also has a thigh problem. Reporting early Saturday, Aaron Wilson, a uh, local reporter there, pretty good, uh, says that Cooks will play. He'd be the one we'd all be most interested in. Danny Amendola's been ruled out. He had knee surgery, an arthroscopic procedure. Hopes to be back this year, but he'll miss it probably a couple of weeks. They signed Philip Dorsett uh, early Saturday. so uh, But expect Cooks to play. Johnson and Conley seem truly up in the air. On the other side of the ball, uh, Jonathan Taylor's great. And it's a great matchup. Watch that. <laughs> like football, fantasy football 101 there. You're welcome. Um, Jack Doyle listed as questionable. He's been the tight end of choice in this offense over the last three games. The most heavily targeted by far. Mo Ali cox and uh, Kylan Grayson would be asked to pick up the pace if uh, Doyle can't go. But he practiced fully Friday. Seems likely to go. For the New York Giants at Miami, Daniel Jones has been ruled out. Mike Lennon will start. <clears throat> Neck issue for Daniel Jones. He's not been cleared for contact. He practiced on a limited basis this week, but they really don't know how long he's going to be out. They're being very vague about it, uh, suggesting it won't be season long when you're telling me that, you know, a, a guy's day-to-day, -day, but you don't know if it's a season long thing. I mean, you're kind of telling me something there. So I uh, wouldn't expect Daniel Jones back soon, but that's something, you know, I hope nobody's leaning on him anyway. Uh, John Ross, this is questionable. Sterling Shepard and Kadarius Tony, both doubtful. I uh, expect both of them, Shepard's now, this will be like the fifth straight or sixth straight great game he's missed. 
Uh, Tony will be the second game he's missed uh, with oblique and quad injuries. Uh, Kyle Rudolph is questionable as well. Seems likely to play. Caden Smith, tight end, unlikely to play. So Galladay, Barkley, uh, Darius Slayton, top weapons there. In a tough defense in Miami. They're on a bit of a roll. Philip Lindsay on the other side of the ball is listed as doubtful. With an ankle injury, he came in and was kind of the clock killer late last week. Uh, got like 12 carries in his uh, Dolphins debut. <clears throat> listed as doubtful. Probably won't play. Devontae Parker, I'll watch for that. He is designated to return from IR. He has not been activated as the time I'm recording this. They have until 4 p.m. Eastern time to do that. So watch the update section, late breaking update section to see if that happens. Uh, for the Philadelphia Eagles at the New York Jets, great game for the Eagles if everyone's healthy. Jalen Hurts listed as questionable. Seems likely to play Gardner Minshew standing by if he doesn't. Boston Scott questionable. He's got an illness. He seems also likely to be available. You wonder how hard they'll push him. Miles Sanders is off the injury report. Jordan Howard has been ruled out of this game. So, uh, fair to wonder what kind of role Scott will have. And, uh, we'll be watching the quarterback situation right up through the inactive announcement in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff. Seems like Hurts is good to go, though. On the other side of the ball, Corey Davis list is questionable. Watch it, man. It's been tricky. It's a tough matchup. Even if he does show up, does he get Darius Slay treatment? Seems likely. So that's something to watch for. If he doesn't play, does Elijah Moore get the Darius Slay treatment? Nobody wants that treatment. It's tough. Uh, for the Tampa Bay, Fal Tampa Bay at Falcons, uh, Antonio Brown suspended uh, for three games. Wasn't going to play this week anyway. Probably going to miss another week with the ankle injury. Now he's going to miss three games. Faked his vaccine card. Uh, for the Cincinnati Bengals uh, facing the LA Chargers, Chris Evans listed as uh, doubtful in this one with a ankle injury. Odd Tate also listed as doubtful. Expect neither of them to play. Uh, you know, and for the for the Chargers, everyone's good to go. Uh, and that is an early afternoon kickoff. So we'll move into late afternoon window. Uh, San Francisco at Seattle, Debo Samuel ruled out. He's a, he says he'll miss a week. Others say he'll miss two weeks. It's a groin injury. They'll be cautious with him. Obviously, he's a big part of this offense, and they're pushing for a playoff run. Uh, Trey Sermon has been uh, ruled out with an ankle injury. Elijah Mitchell getting all the workload anyway, so good for him. Uh, Jeffrey Wilson will be continue backing him up. Michael Hasty should return this week, though. On the other side of the ball, Alex Collins, Rashad Penny, Travis Homer, all listed as questionable. A abdomen, hamstring, and calf. Adrian Peterson is going to be activated from the practice squad, according to reporting from the local Obser national observers. Uh, Jeremy Fowler from ESPN, the latest to report it. So expect that to come by 4 p.m. Eastern time as well. I wouldn't get too excited about Peterson. Uh, you can look into his work in Tennessee. I mean, will he get some volume? Possibly so. Will he do much with it? Unlikely. The offense is not working great. Uh, James Robinson for the Jacksonville Jaguars at the Los Angeles Rams. Uh, he is listed as questionable with the same knee knee and heel issues that he's been dealing with for almost a month now. He's played through them pretty consistently. I would expect him to do the same. Clearly not himself, but has been playing, getting most of the volume. They benched him for a little while last week. It was odd. He had a fumble, and they sat him out for a while, but he came back in and finished the game. Uh, for the Rams, uh, Daryl Henderson listed as questionable with a quad. Odell Beckham questionable with a hip. Uh, Sean McVay says both of them will play. Henderson, haven't seen him a lot of practice this week, so it's a concern. Uh, Beckham practice limited, sat out practice limited. So uh, Sean McVay said he would be surprised if Beckham doesn't play. For the Las Vegas Raiders uh, hosting the Washington football team, Darren Waller, doubtful, back in knee. Expect Foster Moreau to get the start and be a pretty good play. Josh Jacobs, questionable with an ankle injury. If he doesn't go, it would be Kenya Drake and Peyton Barber. Uh, Deshaun Jackson, calf injury. He says it's nothing downplayed. It said it was spasms. Didn't practice a lot this week. That's one to watch. For the football team, uh, J.D. McKissick has been ruled out with his concussion. They promoted Wendell Smallwood from the practice squad. He'll handle the receiving role, expecting him to like have the full receiving role. The whole full McKissick role seems unlikely. Sounds like a good game for Antonio Gibson. Curtis Samuel listed as questionable there. Ricky Seals-Jones also questionable with a hip injury. Um, Logan Thomas is back, though. It's kind of rendered uh, Seals-Jones irrelevant from a fantasy perspective at this point. Sunday Night Football. Melvin Gordon listed as doubtful. We've all been waiting for to see what Javante Williams can do with a full workload. We'll probably see that in a pretty favorable matchup against the Chiefs. The uh, run defense, not that great. Chiefs defense, better on the whole. Run defense, giving up close to four and a half yards of carry. Um, Clyde Edwards-Alaire on the other side of the ball has a stomach flu. Did not practice Friday. Andy Reid says he will play. We'll see if that's the case. You'll have to wait it out, have some fallback plans, either in the Sunday night game or in the Monday night game. 
uh, which is the Buffalo Bills hosting the New England Patriots. Weather's going to be a factor in that game. Gusting winds, cold, snow, as you would expect. Brandon Bolden and Nick Folk likely to be listed as questionable. Injury report isn't out as I record this. They've been limited all week. But the guys like Damian Harris, Jonu Smith, uh, Hunter Henry, Ramondre Stevenson, all those guys who have been on it the last in recent weeks uh, were not on it to open the week. So good news there. So there you have it. Again, hit the website, check the late breaking update section for the latest news and information. Also check the FSP staff cheat sheet. The staff rankings will have links to all the latest articles as they go up. So if something happens to a player, you'll find the easy quick link right there. Just run down the list, find your guy, do a quick search with your browser. Very easy. Tons of articles and content up. Uh, we've got the videos. We had the Wednesday night DFS lineup show was on Friday night. So it's a little fresher this week. Uh, you'll have my This video will be waiting for you. John Lobb will be doing the line of scrimmage cash game show uh, later Saturday night. That'll be available to you as well. Uh, Sunday, we'll do our pregame show. We'll talk about DFS ownership percentages, etc. with Jamie Calandro and Jason Brady. I'll be on the Sirius XM Fantasy Sports Radio if you're watching this Saturday afternoon. I'll be on the Fantasy Channel from 5 to 7 with Football Diehards. Then Football Diehards jumps to the NFL Radio 88 on your dial on Sirius uh, XM. Uh, and we'll be there from 8 to 11, have some great guests there. Jamie Calandra will join us to talk DFS. We'll have Liz Loza from Yahoo on there. And in the fantasy uh, sports uh, two-hour window, we'll have Armando Marsal on. So some good, uh, some good info from some great guests there. And then Jeff Manns and I will be on the pregame show tomorrow uh, after you're done watching the pregame video. Tons of stuff. Casey Joyner's sit-start injury report will be updated Sunday morning. There's a version up right now. Check that out. Good stuff. And on all the DFS front, whether it's Jamie, Justin Lanero, myself, John Lobb, the scholar sheet of DraftKings knowledge, fantastic stuff there. Um, <clears throat> Justin Lanero's Digging in the Crates is also a great piece. We have all the waiver wire stuff, so if you're looking for, to make some first-come, first-serve moves, there's information there for that as well. So hit it all up. And by the way, you commissioners, watch, check out Reginald James' stuff. He does a great job with his Commission HQ articles. Very entertaining. I enjoy them immensely. And of course... Emil Cadillac's got you covered with the stats, tools, the lineup optimizers, ownership percentages, everything you need to be a little better for informed than your competition. That's how you win at this game. Uh, good luck on Lucky Week 13. We'll see you next week. Over and out.